Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a Super Tarts RTS haul. So she has switched over to an RTS style business model. It seems like at least the last few weeks she's had an RTS every single Friday. Um, so this haul is actually a combination of three orders. I'm officially on my no by now. I feel like I've stocked up on all of my Super Tarts favorites. I have a few kind of newish items here that I don't think I've ever tried, um, as well as some items that I haven't had for a really long time. So I wanted just to combine this haul and share with you. But if you're not on a no buy this summer, um, like I said, she's doing RTS every single Friday. And so, great opportunity to get some of her stuff. So I would check out her Facebook page um, so you can see what's being offered. So I started out with um, a thank you note and then also there was an invoice in the box as well. I got a sticker. This time I got a little telephone sticker. Super cute, I, I like that she's including those. They're just kind of fun. And then I got one sample. And I'm really enjoying her samples right now because they used to be a lot smaller and I feel like at least the last few orders I've had with her, they're much more substantial, which is great. I feel like I can actually get a really good understanding of a scent if I have at least a, a generally <laughs> large sample. So the one that I got was Fizzy Papaya, Fizzy Papaya Soda and Sweet Lollipops. I was excited that this one was my sample because I've seen a lot of people talk about this one recently. So I was glad that this was the sample I got so I could get my sniffer in it. This is good. Um, definitely like a fruity, fizzy soda. Reminds me a lot of mouse ears, I guess, because of the, the lollipop. Don't know if I need tons of it, but it's a good summertime scent. And I always have great performance with Super Tart, so I bet if I put that piece of wax in a hot plate warmer in my kitchen, I bet it would fill up my entire kitchen. So I will melt that sometime this summer. Okay, where to start? Let's start with the, the smallest items and maybe work our way, work our way up. I got this little bag of buttercream mint ice cream. So she's had a couple different RTSs where she was doing BAM piece extras. And then she was also doing also doing bricks. Bricks are her clam shells without the clam, um, which I really like not having the clam and just having it in a bag. So the RTS that she had the BAM extras, they're all different sizes. So this one was on the site. This size was on the site, more like full bams were on the site. So I was just throwing stuff in my cart based on the name of it because you had to move so quick. And so I don't think I would have bought this if I would have realized how small this was, but that's okay. I still will enjoy this. I probably can do two pieces in my bedroom twice and it would be a good like nighttime melt. So this is buttercream, fresh mint, and sweet cream. I actually just finished a clamshell of this recently and really, really loved it. Or I even could do like my whole kitchen with this. That would be perfect as well. It's a very nice butter mint type scent. Um, really pretty. I'm glad to have a little bit more of that. And then I have her bricks. So like I said, they are naked clamshells, so to speak. Um, I have one in strawberry pound cake. So I actually got one brick of this and I picked up a BAM piece extra. So I'll just go off of the brick for now, but her strawberry pound cake is absolutely unbelievable. It, I got this one first, which I was really excited about. And then I saw this one like the next week. And so I just grabbed <laughs> another one. Freshly sliced strawberries, vanilla cream, and pound cake. It's the Bath and Body Works type, but 
I feel like there's added strawberry or something to this. It is so pretty. I think she has my number one favorite strawberry pound cake scent. And it is such a good blender. Blend this with a lot of things, but I like it blended with Yippie Kaye a lot. Just an absolute perfect strawberry pound cake. And I am so glad that I have more of that. Speaking of Yippie Kaye, I did get quite a large extra of Yippie Kaye. This is ice sugar cookies and pine needles. This was formerly, formerly known as Die Hard. Um, if you're an OG Super Tarts fan, um, one of my absolute favorite scents from her. I have so many of these, so I need to slow down on buying them, but it's so hard when, when I see it, I feel like I have to have it because I just love it so much and I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to get it. I will say, I do feel like this one, she pours relatively often. So I do, I do love that. This is the best pine scent ever. It is not sharp. It's much more bakery heavy. It's a really good like 50-50 mix of pine and sugar cookie. It's an all year type scent for me, honestly. Especially all fall and winter, I will melt this. Absolutely love it. If you love tree or if you're thinking about trying tree, I would pick up Yippie Kaye. Picked up another wacky cake. This is cola, cake batter, vanilla bean, and zucchini bread. Used to be Coven, one of my top favorite scents. This is like a cola cake, um, like a Coca-Cola cake if you've ever had one of those. It has a lot of bakery notes to it. Um, it's just a really good cola. Love it during the summertime. Um, honestly, this is an all year round type of scent for me because it's just a good bakery, but the cola kind of leans a little more summery to me. So I melt this a lot in the summer, but a great starter cola scent. If you guys are into cola, it smells truly like you opened a can of Coke right in front of you. It is, it is amazing. Next, I picked up some extras of Mystique. So I have never had this one before. If I have, it's been a really long time. So this is shaving cream and pink sugar. Really love shaving cream, and I think she has a really great pink sugar oil. So I was curious about this one. This is very, very fresh. Probably not my number one favorite shaving cream oil ever. Um, it's a very fresh shaving cream scent. Very pretty though, very clean. You definitely get the pink sugar. I'm for sure going to enjoy this. This sounds like the type of scent that I would want to melt when I'm like deep cleaning my house or something. So I'm excited to kind of dive into that one more. Picked up more of Go to Sleep. This is lavender, sweet cream, and pink sugar. This is my number one favorite lavender blend of all time from any vendor. It's my first lavender blend I really, really got into. And so I think for me, it really kind of is nostalgic. It's just amazing. I love her lavender oil. And then you get that cream, you get the sweetness from the pink sugar. This is so cozy. Like it makes you just want to curl up in bed and take a nap. It is so calming, so soothing, so relaxing. It's like the perfect scent after a really long day just to kind of mellow out a little bit. If you have never tried Super Tarts Lavender, I highly recommend it. I enjoy lavender, but I'm not like a huge lavender person and her lavender is unbelievable. Violet. This one is another favorite of mine, peppermint cotton candy and blackberry. I melt this so much like in my bedroom because of the peppermint. This is so sweet and not too peppermint. Like it's not nose clearing. It's not um, too intense. You get the sweetness from the blackberry. You get the sweetness from the cotton candy and it just tones down the peppermint a bit. It's beautiful. I've gone through so many bags of this and it's just one I, I keep getting every time I uh, see it because I love it. Okay, one of my favorite Jaws scents ever. It's Quince Harpoon. 
So this is Jaws blended with orange. Um, this one's just really unique. It's a very fresh scent with that hint of orange. It's perfect for the summertime. I can't believe the name on this one has not changed. This is the original name. Quint is a um, character in the movie Jaws. So this is, I'm surprised this name has stuck around. We'll see if she ever changes it, but you get the Jaws, you get the orange. And I like this because the orange really stands out. And some of the other Jaws blends, I find that Jaws is like 75% of the blend. And then the additional note is kind of more in the background. This, I really get the orange, which I like. And I don't have a lot of orange in my collection. So it's just one I, I really enjoy, especially in the summertime. Speaking of Jaws, um, actually let's do the one that isn't Jaws because all the rest of them, oh, I got two more that aren't Jaws. So let's do those first and then I'll finish off with the Jaws ones. I got a BAM, like BAM Extra of Palo Santo slash Middle Earth. Palo Santo and the Middle Earth is Dirt, Rosemary, and Mint Leaf. Amazing, amazing blend. I love Middle Earth, but I think I like it best blended with Palo Santo, you guys. This is so pretty. You get the dirt and the rosemary and mint, but you also get that smoky Palo, that woodsy Palo Santo. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I love this so much. It is such a good earthy scent. I would melt this all spring, all summer, and probably through the fall because of that Palo Santo note. So, so good. Okay, and then the last one that's not Jaws is I got two bricks of PMW, so Pacific Northwest. So that is Raindrops, Sweater Weather, Birch Beachwood, and Washington Apples. I have had this one in the past, but it's been a really long time. And I have to say, I am loving this so much. I really, the apple is very strong, but you get this fresh earthiness too, I guess from like the raindrops and the sweater weather, but the birch is very much standing out to me here. It's tree and it's apple. I remember liking this the last time I've had it, but not absolutely loving it. This was probably two or three years ago. This smells amazing, amazing. I'm, I'm so glad I picked it up and tried it again. Just goes to show that your scent preferences change over time. Um, so I'm excited to dive into that. I need to zoom out a little bit so you guys can see more of the, of the wax. All right, I got two bricks and jaws because if jaws is on the site i feel like i have to get it so sea salt fresh air seagrass sliced plum sweet pear i feel like i don't need to talk about this one too much aquatic perfection scent my absolute favorite scent from her and a lot of other people's i got one brick of c'est la vie which is a jaws blend so this is jaws blended with pink sugar this used to be called Ellen, if you're familiar with that name. This, you really do get a hint of that pink sugar. It's a lot sweeter. Um, it just kind of takes Jaws up a notch, makes it very sweet. I really like this one. I don't know why I only got one brick of it and not two. Um, maybe because I haven't had it in a while and I just wanted to remember if if it was one I absolutely loved. So excited for that one this summer. And then last for this haul is two bricks of Nostalgia. So this one is Cotton Candy, Cactus, Jaws, Sandalwood, and Christmas Tree. So Jaws blended with quite a lot of other things. Kim mentioned this one and mentioned how much she loved it. And then Brandy mentioned it on Facebook. And I thought this sounded so good between the mix of Jaws, but also like the tree notes. This is good. It is Jaws and I really get like a fresh tree from this. Maybe a hint of that cactus. I don't get a ton of cotton candy, but it really is Jaws and some tree. So I love the name. I love like, 
This picture gives me like 1980s Christmas or something like that. Like <laughs> just old Christmas tree and I love it. That really is nostalgic looking that picture. So I really love that label and i um, excited to melt that one and try it. Okay, but that's it. That's my quick Super Tarts RTS haul. I'm so excited to have some of my favorites again and just, yeah, I love Super Tarts. So glad to be able to stock up. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.